Dr. Fauci is again raising concerns about what he calls this post-holiday surge, surge upon the surge. What are you expecting to see uh, in the crisis, let's say, two weeks from now, as Steve Patterson was just, just saying? You know, Andrea, we're seeing so much transmission now, it's even hard to know what's due to a surge, what's not due to yeah. a surge. I mean, the numbers are extraordinary. Remember that 19 million cases, let's round to 20 million. That's an underestimate by a factor of four so or five. So we're looking at maybe 80 to 100 million cases in the United States. So we're up, we're getting towards a quarter of the U.S. population uh, being infected. And remember when Rand Paul, Senator Paul said 22 percent herd immunity and it all stops? Well, guess what? It's not. It's going to continue uh, to race onward. And and uh, this is what I'm very concerned about uh, as, uh, you know, the virus still is speeding ahead of our ability to vaccinate. Hopefully we can get up to speed soon in terms of vaccinations. Yeah, so much for Dr. Rand Paul, a senator, a doctor, and also uh, Dr. Steve Atlas, uh, Scott Atlas, rather, from, from the vice president's task force. Um, first of all, the original goal also on vaccines was to have 20 million Americans vaccinated by the end of the year, we were told. Now Admiral Girard is saying vaccines in that amount won't be distributed to the states until the first week in January, which is different because the distribution to the states then has its own hiccups before it gets to people. So has the government been overselling just how quickly Operation Warp Speed can get people vaccinated? Well, they may have underestimated some of the complicated logistics uh, involved because uh, of that, especially the Pfizer vaccine, which is so unforgiving and has those strict freezer requirements. So you have to be really careful when you're unpacking. Uh, the boxes and making certain that there's no uh, fluctuations in temperature, which would render, which would cause you to have to throw out the vaccine. And so that, that does add a lot of complexity. I'm hoping that even though we've not had as uh, fast a start as I would like, we'll get up to speed uh, in the new year. And I'm also hoping we'll get some additional vaccines uh, that just require refrigerator temperatures, uh, the, some of the adenovirus uh, vectored vaccines that'll be out in the new year. So this will get better. We, we had, we've had some hiccups in our ability to start vaccinating the public like everything else in this response, right? I mean, we're, you know, we, we've, we, we've either missed the boat or have been slow on so many aspects of our COVID-19 control program. Hopefully this one will start to go a little bit better. There's also been questions of inequality in the way this distrib distribution is working already. Uh, the Chicago Sun-Times has looked at data from around Chicago and found that doctors from affluent neighborhoods were getting vaccinated at significantly higher rates Quoting from the paper, the findings point to a trend of Chicago doctors living in more affluent areas, showing up in sizable numbers to get inoculated, while technicians and other lower paid health care workers living in predominantly black and Latino communities did not get the shots. And this is yeah, we just have Chicago. Uh, what do you make of this disparity? Yeah. yeah, we have to fix that, Andrea. And the reason is this, because... One of the things we've learned over the summer from the Centers for Disease Control data is if you look at the deaths uh, under the age of 65 uh, among the Hispanic and African-American communities, about a third of the deaths are occurring under the age of 65. So we really need to be able to reach 40, 50-year-old, early 60-year-old mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters, because that's where loss of life can be particularly striking. And so we've got to figure out a way to fix that in a hurry. And also communicate better because we're hearing we've seen polls from the Kaiser Family Foundation, a fair bit of distrust among the African-American community in particular. So communicating is going to be especially important. And so I'm trying to reach out to as many uh, African-American radio stations and, and, and news outlets as I can uh, in, in order to help with that. But it's going to take a, a quite a bit of effort for this. And how concerned are you about the new strain, not only in the UK, but now South Africa? Japan has already seen some of the British uh, strain and other new strains of the virus and whether or not they, they will uh, also be subject, vulnerable to this, these vaccines. Well, one of the things I'm really worried about, Andrea, in the U.S. is we're not looking for these variants. Um, the numbers in terms, you know, the, the way the UK, U.K. scientists figured this out is they are completing whole genome sequences on, on virus strains. They've sequenced about 7 percent of the virus strains getting the full genomic sequence. That's how they revealed this variant. 
in Australia and New Zealand, they're sequencing half of the viruses, the full genome of half the virus isolates. In the U.S., it's less than 1%. Um, so again, we come up really small in our in our COVID-19 response. So there could easily be the South, Af the, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the South African and the U.K. variant already here in the U.S. It would not surprise me at all to know that there are similar types of highly variant viruses already here circulating, homegrown ones. Forget about it coming from the U.K. or South Africa. We have just not been looking for it at all. And it's really upsetting to see uh, how um, mediocre and dismal our COVID-19 national response has been. We have, you know, the greatest research institutions and universities in the world and we're just not tapping them in order to 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 handle this situation and i don't know what's going on with the federal agencies these days hey there i'm chris hayes from msnbc thanks for watching msnbc on youtube if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos